Hi guys, like to welcome you guys all back to my channel and today I am here to talk about the books that I hope to read in the month of March. Now I've noticed that lately I've kind of just been putting books on my TBR in hopes of getting to them and honestly it's going to be the kind of same way again because the first book on my March TBR is this big hunk of joy. This is The Priority of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. Yes, I talked about this in my last TBR not realizing that it came out at the end of February. For some reason I wrote it down as coming out in the beginning of February so I've just started. As you can see it's going to take me a while. I don't know when I'm going to get to this book, but like I explained, this is a queendom. This is a book that focuses on dragons and heirs and all types of things. I have no idea what to expect from this book. This is my first uh, hefty adult fantasy book in a long time. Honestly, I don't remember the last time I read one, but yeah, this is taking focus of my life. The pick for the next A Seat at the Table book review our live book review will be She Would Be King. She Would Be King. And I have no idea what this book is about. I kind of just winged it. I know it's the book that was voted on. So again, if you guys want to participate in the voting of our books, then I suggest that you join our Goodreads. And I'll leave the link to that down below. And we post a poll every month and we announce it during our next live book show. So our next live book show will actually be March 24th. Um, check my social medias. I will also be posting that announcement there. But I just wanted to point it out here to let you guys know. We will be reading She Would Be King and I have feelings already because I've already started the audiobook. Another book that I'm actually in the middle of reading is Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Skye. This was on my last TBR and I hadn't gotten to it. Um, library kind of came and went for me. I like the idea of this again. Again, it's giving me more of an imperial... China, Imperial Japan kind of vibe again, where she's not actually a samurai. She's actually more of a, ma a mage and she has a connection with her daemon. I have no idea how to describe their relationship yet because I'm actually only, I think I'm only like 40 pages in or something. So it's still really introducing the world and the story and I'm intrigued, I guess is the best way to put it. So I'm going to keep reading this <laughs> when I need a break from my other one. So I'll be listening to two to three audiobooks this month at work and at or in my car. So the book that I plan on listening to first at work is Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Cena McGuire. This is the second book to the Wayward Children series. Um, I read the first one during Book Tubathon last year and I thought it was super dark. So I'm gonna keep reading the series. We'll see. Um that last one left me kind of speechless, so we'll see how this one goes, but this is the first book I'll be listening to at work. The book that I've been listening to in my car is The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. I know, I am finally reading it for anybody that wants to throw shade. This has been on my TBR list so many times last year, and I'm finally getting to it. Um, I used Cloud Library, which is another app similar to Hoopla, but it's literally just your library. Um, I got the audiobook for this. So I'll be listening to this in my car and possibly at work when I finish Down Among the Sticks and Bones. The last book that I plan on reading is Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier. Ad Adier, I think that's how you say her name. Again, this was in my haul video that I just posted, which is, I'll leave the link obviously. And I finally looked at what it's about. And literally the first line, it says, the only daughter of a prominent samurai, Marika has always known she'd been raised for one purpose and one purpose only, to marry. You would think that would stop me, but for some reason it intrigues me. So obviously she's going to go meet her betrothed and the while at the palace, the black clan attacks and she's the only survivor. So I'm actually intrigued. So I'm going to read this book, let you guys know my thoughts and see if I'm going to continue because I think there's an I think there's already another book out for this series so yeah we'll see so that was actually really short and sweet those are the books that I plan on reading for the month of March my question to you guys is what are you reading and what books are you looking forward to coming out because as we all know Children of Virtue and Vengeance was supposed to come out March 5th but it is not. It is actually pushed back until December. So I'm actually very sad about that. But I do have some other books coming out this month that I'm very looking for. And I'm 
super looking forward to coming out to like Danielle Clayton's The Everlasting Rose, which is the sequel to The Bells that I read last year. I'm very excited about that for some reason. I think what I'm going to do is actually listen to the audiobook of The Bells before I read that book. I haven't decided, but let me see. I guess we'll do this at the end of every March TBR. What other books am I excited about coming out? Uh, Shades of Magic. Uh, volume one, The Steel Prince, The Mermaid's Voice Returns, uh, Blood Leaf, and Never Contented Things. So those are the books that I'm looking forward to coming out. Again, I use my Owlcrate planner to write down all my new upcoming releases. So again, thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. And until the next time, guys, bye.